Welcome to the spring edition of Edgehume Seasonal Garden Tips. The bulbs are up, the weather's begin to warm up, and I've got some great ideas of things you can do in the garden at this time of the year. Right now is the time to plant sweet peas, and in the Edgehume Seed Rack, we have an excellent selection of peas from the climbing type to the low dwarf bushy type, the knee-high peas, and also a great collection of Old Spice, Old Fashioned Sweet Peas. It's spring. And there's a lot of things you can do to get the garden started at this time of the year. There are lots of seeds, in fact, that can be sown in the garden at this time. The first thing you want to do is to go to the Edhume Seed Rack and compare the value of seeds, the price and the weight. That comparison will tell you that Edhume seeds are your best buy. Also keep in mind that the seeds are not treated with any kind of pesticide. They're all current crop seeds, fresh as can be and there are varieties for this area. And when you plant vegetables into your garden, you'll get full flavor and the full nutritional value. Edhume seeds are the best seeds you can buy. And here are a few of my favorite varieties. These are all perennials and biennials, and of course, they're plants that'll come back year after year. Look at the broad selection of herbs that we have. You can have a whole herb garden just simply from the Edhume seed rack collection. And look at some of the vegetables I'd like to share with you. In corn, for example, there's the early candy corn, which is very, very sweet, has an enzyme that keeps it fresh for 48 hours. There's peaches and cream, another bicolor variety. And look at the beans, some really great varieties. For example, the Cascade Giant Beans, they're a pole type, and the Bush Roma Beans, and we have many, many other varieties. And look in peas, for example, variety Olympia and Tacoma. That lets you know they're Northwest varieties. And look at the vegetables. Tomatoes, pick red or red pack, a great variety for the Northwest, produces tomatoes up to two pounds in size and only grows four feet high. In some of the squash, of course, this is the winter keeper, the uh, sweet meat variety. And many varieties of spinach, including the New Zealand spinach. And everything from artichokes all the way through to tomatoes, our choice, but look at here pumpkins, the huge giant Atlantic pumpkins, and seeds for the gorgeous bright lights Swiss chard, a beautiful plant that extends way into the winter season. And of course, some of the great varieties of carrots, this happens to be the variety of ingot that is very high in beta carotene. And look at the flower selection. Wow, so many different varieties. But here are a few that you might really find interesting. Convolvulus, hummingbird mixture, coreopsis, Look, this is very easy to grow. This is a Godisha. Some of the very attractive flowering kale and flowering cabbage that you can grow during the winter season. And of course, uh, larkspur, morning glories, and some of the new varieties of sunflowers. Just to give you an idea of a few of the ones that are really easy to grow in your garden. Now, I'm going to plant this area, but let, first, let's share a couple of things. This is a cover crop that I planted last fall. And a cover crop is a crop that grows all winter long and it suppresses weed growth and at the same time grows organic humus. You'll notice these little nitrogen nodules on the root system. So in other words, this cover crop has been growing nutrients while it's also growing the green manure above. And this entire area was planted with cover crop and I've spaded it in and now it's ready for planting. So a cover crop is really a great idea. In addition, I've added the black gold soil. And if your soil isn't very rich, you may also want to add a little bit of organic fertilizer and a little bit of lime to the soil. But in this case, it's not necessary because my soil is so rich and I've used the black gold soil as well. Now, let's plant. This is so easy and it's so much fun because you see the results in a very short period of time. And with this piece of doweling, I'm actually going to mark the row. And then all I'll do is take the seed packet. The first thing you want to do is to read the back side of the seed packet so you know exactly how to plant seeds. Some seeds you cover, some seeds you do not. Now I've written all the directions for our seed packets so they are correct so you'll know which ones to cover and which ones not to cover. You'll always find at the bottom of the seed packet is the easiest portion to open. See how easy that is? And we'll just take the seeds. Now we know how far to space them because we've read the directions on the back of the packet. And all we do is to space them like so. And then is what we can do 
is we can make another row just very, very close to the first row because we can do what's called the wide row raised bed method of gardening, grow vegetables very, very close together in, and not waste space so that you don't have to do as much weeding or as much fertilizing or care. And then all we do is just pull in a little bit of soil over the top because it's said to barely cover these seeds. Now we do not press down on top of the seeds because that pushes the oxygen out of the soil and we don't want to do that. See how simple it is? And don't forget to compare price and weight for your best value. Remember that our seeds are varieties for this area. They're fresh current crop seeds, the best you can get, and they're not treated with any kind of pesticides. And when you're growing vegetables, you'll get full flavor and full nutritional value when you grow them in your own garden. Remember, Ed Hume seeds are the best seeds you can buy. If you have a few bare spots in your garden, you know, it's very easy to seed out a few annuals. For example, here's a bare spot. I'll just add a little bit of the black gold seedling mix, mix it in a little bit, like so, and then open up the packet. And I've already read the directions on the back. This happens to be status. And we'll just scatter a few seeds there, and then take a little bit of black gold and just fill in over the top like that. It's that simple. And you can easily seed in those bare spots in your garden and have the most beautiful garden this year.